birds. I'm babysitting my daughter's puppy this weekend. Well, for four days. Vision. Vision. She smells something. So, uh, Bentley was going to give me Ferro rod, mail me a ferro rod. Well, guess what? Who would have thunk it? I got this one at Walmart. So, yay. Now I'm happy. Um, and I got a magnesium bar too, fire, fire starter. Um, nice size one. So I have lots of fire making in my uh, bob. Yeah, she smells some. You know what I didn't see this year? And I'm hoping I wasn't a goofball. Um, last year, I had a ton of ginseng. And you know what? I just don't see any this year. Hmm. I thought maybe it was going to do like my peppers and be late, but usually all along my fence row and then just on the other side of my fence, I've got uh, six feet on the other side of the creek is all my property, but when I moved in, 20 years ago, um, 23 years ago, my daughter was three and the creek fills up rapidly and it swept the water so the fence was to keep her safe. Um, so all the animals are out enjoying the weather today. Nice warm day. And this one's been cooped up. This thing loves to ah! run and bounce and play and jump. This is the little puppy that I had back during the summer that uh, is in service dog training. And let me tell you, she's a knucklehead because she doesn't listen to me. She listens to my daughter, but she does not listen to me. And I don't know, um, I would think numero uno, these dogs should be able to uh, alert on commands, depend on anybody saying them. But I guess they're trained to listen to the person that they're, their service dog. And there's my, my little garden, truck patch, and just flowers there. Oh, let's check them out. Pepper. My black pepper. That is just, I just hope it gets bigger than that before it freezes. We're dipping down into the 40s the next couple days at night. What are you doing? That's my raspberries. Yeah, I guess I need to get out here and put another layer of straw on. I just can't seem to pull everything up and work it into the soil yet because it's still growing. Oh, I probably explained this before. My pole beans, I used my old stalks from where I grew my corn. So that was my grow vertical, reuse, and grow vertical. So yeah, if you can see, there's actually an ear of old ear of corn that didn't fully mature on there. Yeah. 
this one is. And those were supposed to be regular, the little cut and come agains, and they got huge. I have these hot yellow peppers. That's the uh, Rutgers. There's one there. There's a couple up here. A couple over here. I have beans vining up into my okra stalks. That one way up there. I will have lots and lots of okra seeds. If they actually dry out on the stalk before it freezes. If not, they may all be a loss. Um. Oh, there's two more tomatoes right in there. Where are they? Right there. That's the box uh, Rutgers. That was a dead plant that I picked up for 10 cents. So yeah, I've harvested a couple tomatoes off of it. It's no longer dead. I'm getting tomatoes from it. Just crazy. We're we're in November, and uh, I'm getting tomatoes and peppers. Just crazy. Oh, there's my big, huge cotton plant. I did have some strawberries down in here. Not enough to write home about. It's just a handful. And, uh, let's see where I've been harvesting the cotton off there. Okay, here's a this plant, ochre plant, is how tall they should get. Not let's see if we can compare. How tall that one is over there. Twice as tall as that. Yeah, I can't even get them both all in frame. Those zinnias taller than me. And I just have a ton of yellow boys down here, up here, green peppers. I harvested a, I came out yesterday and picked a couple green peppers off this one. And I have a lot of jalapenos growing. I have a red tomato over here. This was a volunteer plant. And uh, a lot of people pull up their volunteers. No, not me. And onions. That's a Vidalia. And this is a purple. More kale, asparagus, asparagus, sage. Oh, I guess I might as well pull triple bonus radish. Huh. Yeah, that one's not any good. That's a composter, and that one too. That one's all right. Another zinnia. I have to remember to get my seeds off of my nasturtiums. I see seed pods all over them. Um, let's go over to my rubbish pile here. Compost pile. And I have some more tomatoes about to turn red. And if you notice when they get about that color, when they get about that color, just slightly start turning, I go ahead and pull them. I was having issues with the birds, drilling holes in them. And then I just let them ripen up in the house. They still taste just as good. Have another one. There it is. So yeah, I got a handful of vegetables to take in and eat with my salad today. This evening. Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to show I finally got my feral rod. Uh, beautiful weather today. I think I'm going to be outside the rest of the weekend as long as it's nice like this. 
have a ton of leaves I gotta rake up. And this is mild compared to the front. So uh, y'all have a good weekend. Have a blessed day. Thank a veteran. Remember our boys and girls deployed. And do something kind for a stranger.